Peace, peace, peace. This is your humble hip-hop sales coach, Tiger Toledo. And you already know what it is, man. You're rocking with the best. You heard? So, today I wanted to let you guys know how grateful I am to be here with you guys today so I can share this Ask the Humble Hip Hop Sales Coach question segment. Um, this question comes from, I'm going to use acronyms because she doesn't want to use her name, PB. Okay? And her concern was, I just don't have the time to do this. I just don't have the time to do that. I lost control over my life. And my priorities aren't straight. There's not enough hours in the day. Help me. Help me figure this out. And I'm going to help you figure this out. There is an excuse that goes around a lot, which is, I don't have time. I don't have time to go work out. I don't have time to pursue my dreams. I don't have time to create. That is a bullshit excuse. And I'm going to break that down for you by using the example that I did for PB. So I said, so what do you want to get into? She says, I want to get into real estate. You know, I want to become a real estate agent. I said, you know, fantastic, fantastic. I'm glad you want to get into that. So why haven't you been pursuing it the way you want to? Because I don't have the time. Between my kids and my work and my job and everything like that, I just don't have the time. And I said, let me break it down to you how we are going to find time and show you that you have time to do these things. Okay. First thing you want to do, you want to get a pen and paper out. You want to write down 24 hours times 7. So you're writing 24 and then you're going to times it by 7 which should give you 168 hours per week that you have. So I'll walk you through the example. In the example, excuse me, she sleeps five hours a day. You know, she gets about five hours of sleep. Um, then she'll put in eight hours a day for work. And I did eight hours times seven, which she doesn't work on the weekends like that, but I overcompensated for that, right? Then, um, how many, how many hours does it take her to commute back and forth? Prepare dinner for her kids. Now, you're writing the hours right next to it per day, okay? So, commute to and from work, one hour. Hours of uh, work that she works uh, per day, eight hours. And then you're tallying up how many hours that you spend within that day. So, after we were done with the exercise we realized that she had a total of, if I'm not mistaken, <clears throat> 18 and a half hours. Eight, I believe it was, yeah, it was like 18 and a half hours she had left to actually pursue whatever she wanted to do per week. So it came up to like, um, Shit, it was like two and a half hours per day. If it, my, my calculations might be a little bit wrong, but it was like two and a half hours per day that she can dedicate to whatever she wanted to do. So we were able to crunch the numbers through time management and come up with an additional two and a half hours. This was without um, adding miscellaneous time for just you know entertainment, bullshit, YouTube, whatever playing Monopoly, whatever else you wanted to do. We were able to find two and a half hours per day that she can dedicate towards her dreams, her goals, her aspirations of pursuing a real estate agent career. So this is an example that you guys can use yourself. You can crunch the numbers, tally up 168 hours. That is your, that is your, um, how much hours you put in not how many, I'm, I, I'm a, excuse me, I'm a little bit uh, I'm j bouncing around the place. 168 hours per week. Then you want to break down how many hours that you are dedicating towards every single task, whether it's sleep, whether it's commuting over the phone. So what we were able to uh, come up with 
within those two and a half hours, we can actually add a few more hours to that because while you're commuting to and from work, you can also uh, you can also listen to videos, audios on your way to work. So you can actually be listening to a YouTube video speaking about how to become a better real estate agent, right? To work, you just, you're, you're gaining more knowledge. You're gaining more, uh, I wouldn't say experience, but you're gaining more knowledge about the field that you want to get into, something that you may want to research. Keep a pen and a pad next to you so you could jot down certain things, they certain terminologies, uh, keywords that they use, so on and so forth. So we were able to add an additional hour to the two and a half hours per day. So now that's three and a half hours you have. Hey, guess what? You're taking a shower, throw on the video for uh, on real estate investing or uh, real estate management or something like that. So while you're showering, you're actually listening to the audio and you're gaining knowledge on that. On your way to sleep, play an, uh, an additional 30 minutes. So you can squeeze the time. This is the time management. You're, you, you're able to squeeze in time for you to accomplish a goal, you know? So now you're, you're gonna find that you have a, like four hours towards uh, pursuing your goals, creating, planning, um, you know, scouring around. So I just wanted to share that real life example. This just happened about like two days ago. I was able to show her that she does have time. Time is not the issue. We found time for you in your very, very busy schedule. So if you guys struggle with any time management, use this exercise in your life and you'll realize how much time you actually have allotted to pursue your dreams and aspirations. This is your humble hip-hop sales coach, Tiger Toledo. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments below and I'll make a video to address them. One love. Peace.